Everlasting Father, King of Glory, we give you all the praise. We honor your holy name, O oh God. Beside thee, there is no other God. Thank you for being with us. Thank you for sustaining us. Thank you for your grace is sufficient for us. You have been our strength. Thank you, Jesus. Yet again, we come to hear from you, O oh Father. Teach us. Use my mouth to speak to me. Use my mouth to speak to each one of us, O oh Lord. Come and take control. In the name of Jesus, I bar any power of darkness. Every power of marine spirit. Amen. Every power contrary to the spirit of God. I bow you now in the name of Jesus. Everlasting Father, take control from the beginning to the end. And I pray the word of God today will fall into a fatal ground and will bring forth good fruits in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We are going to start another series of a message. On the 10th of June, 2011, I saw a revelation. The Lord revealed to me the state of the church of today. I saw in this revelation how Jesus was expressing his feeling. Jesus was crying because of the state of the church. And I saw another revelation. This revelation, the Lord told me, after showing me the state of the church again, and he spoke to me. He said, pray for the church. Pray for the church. Today's topic, today's topic is the dirty church. The dirty church, part one. And the title of the dirty church, part one, it is the lack of love. Why is the church dirty? Because of the lack of love inside the church. When we are coming to church, the church is supposed to be a place that people are coming to find Jesus. But today, it is a place. It is a place where there is no longer the power of God. My sister, but before we continue, I want us to go back on this message I received on the 3rd of June, 2011. After listening to this message, we are coming back. Amen? I want to speak about the lack of love in the church. The lack of love. Because of the lack of, the, of love, the church is dirty today. Amen? Let us put on our uh, uh, camera. Uh, not uh, not here on go to meeting. Uh, those that are watching us live, watch what the Lord revealed to me concerning the church. We are coming back. God bless you. Praise the Lord. My name is Claire Andu from Cameroon. I speak French, but I pray that the Lord will give me the grace to give this testimony in English. This is it. It was uh, on Tuesday when I decided to go for a retreat in my church, three-day retreat. We have a program for deliverance, personal deliverance. So we have to fast for three days without eating, without drinking any water. So I took my children, I went to church. Wednesday, we start Wednesday. Uh, Thursday, Friday. Friday when I was sleeping in the church, I will, after the, after all the, all the sister and prayer will finish, and sister will finish to pray, 
and we went to rest because we, the body was tired. We need to rest. So I took my children and I feed them. Then I went to bed. When I went to bed, I slept. Immediately I slept deep in my sleep. I saw myself and my children in, our, in the church. And uh, in our church, the youth, they were doing a program, drama. Immediately, when I was concentrating, watching the youth doing the program, the Lord opened my eyes and he took me in, in his spirit in a place. It looks like a, a restaurant. Inside that restaurant, I can see lots of people sitting down. But the Holy Spirit mentioned to me, he said, among all those people, only one person is my child. You know, when you go to airport, you will see police officer with um, a, a machine. You know, if you have drug on you, the machine will be doing... So that's what I saw. The way the Holy Spirit was like a machine passing on people like this, but that machine was not making noise. When he reached one, a man, a man was sitting on the table. He was eating. The machine made three, and I can, I can, and I can read the name of that man. Then the Holy Spirit spoke to me. He said, "Only this man will be. He's a child. He's a child of God." Then he took me to a place. A lot of people. He said, only this person is a child of God. Then I said, ah, among all the Christians, all the Christians in this world, only one, a child of God. Then when I was asking myself like this, my eyes opened again and I look up in the sky. I saw horses coming as if they are going to war. Ah, I was, I said, Lord Jesus. When I said, Lord Jesus, I saw the Lord Jesus Christ sitting on in the house. You know, the first lane, there were three persons. The Lord Jesus Christ in the middle, the horse in the right, another horse in the, in the left. In this horse, there were angels of God. The horse with wings, angel of God. All, the, all of them were in pure white. But what I noticed, the Lord Jesus Christ didn't even look at me. They were going to a direction. I can see the horse. I can see the, the, the legs on the horse. Very white, very clean. Oh, my, our God is holy. Nothing like impure. They, they were so shiny, all of them. And I noticed under them, they were sky, you know, clouds. They were going, 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 going. I said, ah, where are they going like this? I was asking myself, you know, enough, you know, those those angels, you cannot number them. You know, there were Jesus, uh, horse in the left, horse, uh, angels, uh, horse in the right with angels behind them. You know, a line of horses and angels going to that direction, the same direction with Jesus Christ. You can't number, number them as if they are going to war. All I can, I can hear is that sound. Then, after I went, what I noticed, they landed on earth. When they landed on earth now, car. then I saw our Lord Jesus Christ coming down and I saw his face. The face was, it was not black, it was not white. It looks like all those um, uh, Pakistani people, they are not black, they are not, they are not white. So, and the hair was like white man but i noticed he has a very nice shoulder you know very handsome oh our lord jesus christ is handsome very handsome in white but he was not happy so angry but he was going towards the church i saw what i knew i know it's a church because i can see two door the two door look like a church and he was going towards that church. He wanted to open it. He left the angel behind. He came down from the house. He was going to the church. When he went to the church, he wanted to open the door. Then the Lord Jesus screamed. He said, no, no, no. My church is so dirty. You know, was, he, he was looking at the angel and said, my church is too dirty. My church is too dirty. He wanted he, he want to, to go back. 
to the horse. Then he turned back, try again to go and open the door. Then he said, no, no, my chest is so dirty. My chest is so dirty. I can't go in. I can't go in. Ha! I was there. I said, ah, ha, ah. ha. Then when, when, when I was saying, oh, I was surprised. I said, ah, all, all the Christian, nobody, nobody. The, the, the church cannot, Jesus cannot go inside the church. Nobody. Then my eyes open again. I saw, you know, the angels were there with the horse. They were waiting on the Lord Jesus Christ. The Jesus Christ was there, you know, the door trying to open the door. He can't and he was screaming, you know, with anger in his face. Then when I, 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 I what I saw, I saw lots of kitchen, you know, the other side in the other side. All of them was crying, Lord Jesus, take us with you. Take us with you. Take us with you. And what I saw, I saw Jesus was saying, no, no, my church is so dirty. My church is so dirty. I can't. And they will keep on saying, Lord Jesus, take us with you. Take us with you. And what I noticed, my brother, was not good. I noticed all the Christian, you know, although they were singing, they were, they were, they were, they were, they were screaming, Jesus, take us with you. All of them were naked. All of them were naked. I don't understand, but that's what I saw. All of them were doing like this. Lord Jesus, take us with you. But the Lord Jesus Christ was screaming, I can't, my church is so dirty. But they were naked. And I was scared. That's when I stood up. When I stood up, brother, ah, I was as Lord. If there's any dirt in my life, please remove it. Remove it. Remove it. I ran into the other room. I spoke to the sister. I said, Lord, Jesus Christ wants to come. But the church is too dirty. The church is too dirty. And they asked me, what's the name of the church? I said, no, there was no name. There was no name. This is the church of Christ. Brother, this is the time for us to stand up, to wake up. Start searching our own life. Are we ready to meet our Lord Jesus Christ? This Jesus Christ that we are screaming every day, Jesus, come. Jesus, come. Are we so confident that we are going to meet our Lord Jesus Christ? Brother, start searching our life. Let every church, let every man of God gather the members asking for the mercy of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I pray after listening to this testimony, you go back to yourself. Start asking God. Please God, purge me. Any unclean thing in my life, anything that makes you to run away from me, please, oh Lord, remove it in the name of Jesus. Brother, we don't want to be surprised that when the Lord Jesus Christ will come, will not among the rapture. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. That is what I saw, my sister. One of the biggest cancer today in the church. One of the biggest things that make the church to be dirty. It is the lack of love. It is the lack of love. The lack of love in the church. The lack of love among the children of God. One of the biggest cancer among the children of God. When I say, I saw Jesus say my church is dirty, I began to wonder. I said to myself, after I'm so many Christians, we, we hear about cousins. We hear about church opening every day. People giving their life to Jesus. But nobody, nobody is perfect before God. Nobody can enter the kingdom of God. Jesus cannot enter the church. What is making the church to be dirty? I said earlier that the church is supposed to be a place to find Jesus. To find the love of God. To find, uh, to find the presence of God. But hell us. The church today has become a dirty church. People are running away from the church. 
instead to run to the church and to find the answer. The church has become an habitation of demons. Physical demons. Demons with two hearts. The church has become an habitation of evil spirits. Wolves sitting in the church. Witches and wizards inside the church. Men of God advertising powers of darkness. I saw someone on the TV, in, 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 on the internet. A man was advertising powers. He said, look, if somebody says he is a man of God, let him come and show his own power. He put a, a black cloth on the altar. He took a, 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 a big pot. Pour a, 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 a petrol inside. Took matches. Fire came out. He said, now, I'm just doing this for you to know that it is petrol. Now we are going to drink it. People began to drink it. Man of God, advertising powers of darkness in the church. Pastors, general overseers, promoting immorality, supporting immorality, supporting worldliness in the church, mixing holiness with unrighteousness, mixing the light with darkness. Instead of the fire of God, what we see is a strange fire. On the altar, strange fire. But today, I want to focus on in one of them. The lack of love in the church. One of the biggest cancer in the church today. One of the biggest cancer that have caused the church to be dead. The cancer has turned the wealth of God to be a house of demons. God opened my eyes to see. Then I saw him telling me, pray for the church. I saw a pastor gathering people. I saw the member, the choir. I saw men putting on earrings, men plaiting on hair, women dressing anyhow. And all of them were singing, praise the Lord, hallelujah, praise the Lord, hallelujah, hey, 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 my sister, my brother, that is the state of the church. The Lord one day opened my eyes again. In this revelation, it was like, a, it was a vision. I saw Jesus, full on his glory, pure white, the light was shining all over his body. Then when I saw him, I ran towards him and said, my Lord Jesus, allow me to go and call my family to come and see you. As I ran, I went to call the family. I came back. I saw Jesus changed into a shepherd. He was holding the cat at his high hand. The came. He was dressed as a shepherd. He said, come and see my sheep. Then he took me into a place. I saw the sheep. He said, look at my sheep as scattered. I can see this one here. This flock is eating his grass here alone. Another one is far there. Eating his grass alone. Another one eating his grass alone. They were not together. That is the state of the church today. Why the Lord revealed this to me? For me to see and to pray. And for me to warn the church. Why is the church dirty? It is time we go back. It is time we repent. It is time we sanctify ourselves. The Bible says in 2 Corinthians chapter 7, it says, verse 1, the Bible says, I read in the name of Jesus, Having therefore these promises, dearly beloved, let us cleanse ourselves from unfitness of the flesh and spirit, perfecting holiness in the fear of God. Perfecting holiness in the fear of God. The church is supposed to be a place of holiness, a place of people gathered together in the fear of God. But the church has become an habitation of demons. Every kind of spirit, evil spirit. This place here is the throne of uh, hatred. Here, the throne of immorality. Here, the throne of worldliness. Here, the throne of witchcraft. Everything in the church. When I was in the world, I thought that when I will become a Christian, it's only in the world, people of 
the one that will persecute me. No, no, you don't. The biggest challenge is inside the church. I thought it's in the church you find security. No, no, in that it is in the church you find enemies, evil powers, the demon himself. It was a big surprise for me. The reason why I'm saying it loud today, so that people out there, they will not think that it's everybody like that. They are true children of God. They are true children of God. Hallelujah. True children of God. Praise the Lord. The church is dirty. And this has quenched the fire of God in the church. I am exposing this shame. Hallelujah. I am exposing it. Instead of becoming good God friends, we have become God enemy. By allowing the flesh to overcome us. We have put aside the spirit of God. And allowed the spirit of God to enter the church. Every church you go now. Only worldliness everywhere. Worldliness at the altar. Worldliness here. Where the minister is sitting. Worldliness. The choir. Worldliness everywhere. Worldliness. A dirty church. Is it the bride? Is it the holy church Jesus is coming to take? The book, the Bible says in Romans chapter 8, verse 8. The book of Romans chapter 8, verse 8. I read in Jesus' name. So, they, they are in the flesh, cannot please God. They cannot please God because they have allowed the flesh to take over. The lack of love, it is the fruit of flesh. Verse 10 says, If Christ is in you, being you, the body is dead because of sin. But the spirit is life because of unrighteousness. Because there is no more righteousness in the church. There is no more holiness in the church. The spirit of God has departed. Sin has taken over. The flesh has taken over. These have made the church of Christ to become a dirty church. A dirty church. Where is that name coming from? Among the children of God. We're supposed to talk about holiness. What are they kind of spirit coming among the children of God? Our Lord Jesus Christ took time to explain to us the principle of the kingdom of God. The principle of, of heaven. He taught us how to conduct ourselves with each other. In Matthew chapter 5, let's take it. Matthew chapter 5, somebody can read for us. Matthew chapter 5, verse 43 to 48. Praise the Lord. I read in Jesus' name. Ye have heard that he had been said, You shall love, you shall love thy neighbor and hate thy enemy. But I said unto you, Love your enemy, bless them that curse you. Do good to them that hate you and pray for them which despitefully use you and persecute you. It is because of the love of God that all your sin has been wiped away. It is because of the love of Jesus that we are today called children of God. The kingdom of God is all about the love of God. The grace of God. Jesus, our master, has been a great example for us. And as an example to follow. And we are here to do exactly what Jesus Christ taught us. If we cannot love like Jesus, like Jesus so loved the world, he gave himself for the world, for the people. If we cannot do the same, we are far from him. One of the biggest challenges of the Christian of today is the lack of love. The lack of love. You see it in their character. You see it in their speech. And all together they want to miss holiness with that unrighteousness. Is it what the Lord Jesus Christ taught to us?
us, my brethren. Sometimes I wonder. I wonder when I see Christians fighting each other. Hey! Is it not in the world we used to see people quarreling together? Now even in the church, evil spirit. Witchcraft! Man in power! Christians fighting each other. Men of God fighting each other. The rich one despising the poor one. Those that are more privileged, we embrace only those that are most privileged. The less privileged are put aside in the church of today. Widows, they don't have voice anymore. They respect you only when your husband is still there. Once your husband died, they put it aside. Orphans, you don't even go there. They don't even know who is the orphan here. Some children are there, left alone. In the church. What we consider is materialism more than souls. Let us build this. Let us build this. Let us build this. We have built. Okay, God gave you one. You want another two. You want another three. You want. The people are there. The souls are there. You don't take care. You don't make sure that this they are fed. You take of the things of this world more than them. You don't care about their soul. You focus on the material than the soul of men. Hey, the church of today. The dirty church. I am telling you, with this kind of life, with this kind of, with this kind of way people are doing, many will miss rapture. Because of this issue of lack of love. The lack of love in the church. Jesus, who was God, the Son of God, he left his glory to become the son of a carpenter. The son of a carpenter. I'm sure, my sister, that if it was you, if it was you, my brother, to take, you were the son of God. And you they give you opportunity to go on earth. You will say, No, let me be born. I deserve to be the son of errors. So that everybody will know that I am the son of God. But Jesus, he used simplicity, he used humility. Even the parents God chose for him. They were not big people. Coming from a manor, uh, manor society. The Bible said that it made himself of no reputation. Took upon him the form of a servant. And he was made in the likeness of man. Jesus became humble for us. So that we can be partaker of the kingdom of God. He humbled himself. What, what a great love. The king of glory. Open himself so that we be we 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 will be with him. Is it not love? Can you do that? Can you give yourself for somebody? Can you open yourself for somebody? No. Jesus sacrificed himself so that we can make heaven. The problem with man is lack of love. I must get there alone. I must get to heaven alone. Yes. I must. God speak to me alone. God use me alone. God has called me alone. That is in your mind. No? Thank God God is not following your ways. You think you are the only one God has called. But let me tell you, one day, somebody that has the same thing like you will come near you. Why God is doing that? For, for him to break you. Yes. Jesus came and he took 12 disciples and began to teach them. Because he know that one day I will not be there. You will take over. You will take over. But you, only him. Only you. Uh, yes. Yes. Uh, uh, only me. Like this. Yes. Follow me. God will break your pride. He will break it. You must follow Jesus. Follow Jesus means follow the steps of Jesus. Thank God, human being is not man. It's not God. If human being was God, my sister, I'm telling you, me, myself, they could have judged me already to want me to have fire before my day. Uh-huh. The way the heart of man is towards the brother, uh, when, especially when God begins to use him, especially when God begins to use her, eh, uh, what? What did you say? 
God bless you, my brother. We thank God, though. But in your heart, it will be cursing you. It will be, it will be praying against you so that you fall, waiting for your downfall. That is the spirit in the church. I've seen it. Today, what I see among the children of God make me cry. I want God. I say, hey, is it the church? Hey, hey, is it the church? We are calling the name of Jesus. And there's this kind of impurity, this kind of immorality, this kind of thing in the church, and people make us think there is nothing going on. Who will be raptured there? Who have a pure heart? Who can stand and say no? People sit and quiet. Fighting positions. Fighting power. I am the one. Uh -huh. I am the one. Go to Cameroon. There is I am the, the one there. Go to Avonicos. There is another I am the one there. Go to Nigeria. Many I am the one. We don't even know. That's why they are fighting each other. This one will say you are the one. And you are you, you, you are you are you are like this. I am the one. It's me. It's me. You people. Got, it, it's me. It's me. I am the one. Yeah. Go to Kenya. This one. I don't know. I am the one. That I am the one want to take all over the world. Eh? The one in Nigeria want to take all over the world. The one in Africa want to take all over the world. I don't know. The, when they will gather all of them, I don't know who will live, who will own themselves there. Are we not children of God in the same way? Yeah? Jesus is the only one. We are the flock. We are the sheep. We follow him. He is the chief cornerstone. He is the leader. He has given you your own, you your own, you your own. We work together. The lack of love has made children of God fight you. I fight you for little things, little things, little things. And we are saying we are going to heaven. It's those that have that have a broken heart. They are broken. Even in that, it, 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 practically, they are broken. It's not only talk, speech. Put aside your speech. I'm tired of hearing your speech. Show me your character. Show me the character of a child of God. Then I will call you a child of God. Yes. Show me the fruit of a child of God. Then I will say you are a child of God. We are tired of speech. What we want is action. Yes, a practical Christianity, a practical Christianity. Every day here we come here, we repent, we repent, we take a uh, holy communion. Tomorrow we'll go back again. again. Eh? The prayer will finish, prayer group, you pray. We know that the prayer group finish, 10 p.m., you people are dead, They're talking again. What are you talking? What are you talking? This must end today. He said, enough is enough, it's okay. You finish 10 p.m., you finish 11 p.m., you close. Finish. No more that I am a sister. You see, this I done, that one, that finish. Everything will be buried this year, 2014. If you are coming with that spirit again, a virtuous woman who will find you, you will be exposed. Enough is enough. We need to grow. They will spend speaking on one person for one hour. If we will find out it's not even a good thing. What a dirty, dirty church. No wonder. Jesus was crying. He's making like this. The church is like, take off me too. Take off me too. Jesus is like, my church is dirty. He was hiding his face. He was saying, my church is dirty. You know the way the Christian gossip? Then you say, well, you don't know that. My sister. How are you, my sister? Eh, hey, long time. Uh, hmm. Ma, let's pray for Sister Fanta. Sister Fanta. 
I went to her house. The reason why she will be complaining, her husband will be complaining because she does she doesn't cook. Yes, they beat her like that. The spirit, the, the spirit of God led me, mommy, to, to tell you. The spirit of God led me. We, we should pray. Mommy, we should pray for Fanta. You understand? Hmm. Don't mind her. I think the spirit of God wants to teach her a good lesson. Uh -huh. And I know that she's, she's, she's so proud. Very proud. When you are hearing this, sister saying that let's pray for Fanta. The ton tonality of his, the, 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 the voice, eh? you can see hatred. Anger, if you check very well, the lack of love. The lack of love. I felt in my spirit, God wants us to pray. God wants us to pray. Why are you not praying now? Why are you talking rubbish? You have been talking for 30 minutes, one hour. You have not prayed a single prayer. Keep on going. La, 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 la. After I finish, let's go. Let's, let's. No, no, that's okay. Let's finish. Finish. I made up my mind, eh? No more unnecessary talks. This 2000, 2014, no more evil meetings, witchcraft meetings. We gather is for in the name of Jesus. We finish, praise the Lord, hallelujah, bye. If we gather, we gather to pray. After prayer, finish. I will control my calls now. Make sure before you call me, you have a good thing to tell me now. If not, I will dismiss you. I will hang up. You don't believe me? Watch. You call me back next time. Make sure you have something good to tell me. If you are coming to report somebody, make sure you are coming with that person. I am telling you. I will not solve any problem if that person is not there. The person must be there. I don't want to go to hell. Eh? I will come here, peace to you, peace to you. You will be sanctified yourself. Me, I go to hell. Never. I'm no longer interested with your thoughts. I'm tired to hear the name of this brother, that brother, where we are gonna go down, go down, go down, go down, go down, go down. No, finish. I am not the judge. I am your brother like you. If you are reporting, it's for us to pray. Finish. Hallelujah. I have a message for all the virtuous men. I've shared this message. I want to share it again. If you are out there, please, maybe you are watching it. Watch it again with another, another, watch it with your heart now. Watch it with your heart. We are coming back. The lack of love in the church. Why are women gossiping because of the lack of love? I want to give this warning, then we are coming back. May the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. I am glad to stand here in the name of Jesus to give you this warning. I'm coming in the name of Jesus to come and deliver you this message. This message is for all the virtuous women all over the world, both those that are fellowshipping with us and those that are fellowshipping behind the screen, those that are about to follow, join us. This message is for you. Day before yesterday, I went to bed and uh, I prayed. I prayed and I went to rest. I went to sleep. But my spirit could not sleep. I was in prayer. In prayer, in prayer, in prayer. I told this side, I was just in prayer. I told this side, I was continuously in prayer. This, then suddenly, I fell at sleep. When I was in this deep sleep, I heard the voice of God from heaven. It was so clear. The voice was coming from heaven. And he pierced my ear. He told me, he said, go and tell the virtuous women. Go and tell all the virtuous women. If truly they want to be like me, if truly they want to come to be with me here in heaven, 
let them mind thy word. Let them mind what they say. Tell the virtuous women, if truly they want to be like me, if they want to come here in heaven and spend eternity with me in heaven, let them mind their word. Let them mind what they say. Let them mind what they speak. Let them mind their word. It was telling me so. I was hearing it clearly from my mouth, from my ear. And it took me in this place. I saw one virtuous woman was sitting behind a desk. I don't know whether she was reading the Bible or she was just touching something. You know, he said, tell them. Go and tell the virtuous woman. If truly they want to come here in heaven, where I am, let them mind their mouth, their words, what they speak. Tell them. And he showed me another woman. The woman was dressed like us, just like the first person. You know, with her tie, dressed very well. In a godly way. No earrings. No makeup. And she tied her hair. She was wearing the way. Dress the way I dress. He said go and tell them. Tell the virtuous woman. If truly they want to come here in heaven. And spend eternity here with me in heaven. Let them be like me. Let them mind the world. Let them mind what they say. Let them mind what they speak. Tell them. And then immediately, I woke up from my sleep. I was still in my sleep, but I know that I woke up. Then I said, yes, Lord, I will tell them. I will tell them. I will tell them that you said that they should mind the wo their word. They should mind what they speak. Father, I will tell the virtuous men. Lord, I will tell them immediately I slept again. I was just in sleep. Then he said, tell them. What did I say? He wanted me to repeat, and I repeat it. I repeat it, and I repeat it. I repeat it, then I woke up. My sister, I am here because the Lord has sent me to come and give you this warning. I really congratulate you for giving your life to Jesus, for dropping earrings, for dropping for dropping makeup, for dropping fake hair, dropping fake eyelashes, or anything fake, you drop them. And for giving not only your, your body, your soul, your spirit to Jesus. But there is one thing that God is not happy with us. It is because our mouth. We don't know how to breathe our mind. Amen. The Bible says in Proverbs chapter 21 verse 33. It says, Whoso keepeth his mouth and his tongue, keepeth his soul from trouble. You keep your soul from trouble. He said, but the tongue cannot, cannot, cannot maintain. It is an un unruly evil full of deadly poison. A tongue that you cannot tame is full of deadly poison. How many deadly words came out from your mouth? Many people, many children of God are very swift to speak, very quick to speak, without even thinking. They will just begin to speak, begin to speak their words. Mind your words. Mind your speak. Mind your words. Mind your speech. Whatsoever you say, make sure that it's coming from God. Hallelujah. Please, my sister, I've warned you. This warning is from the Lord. I promise God I'm, I'm going to give you this warning. From now on, stop, stop gossiping. Stop slandering. You know, uh, 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 stop murmuring, stop cursing, stop any mouth, any vo any words that would not please God. Make sure that this your mouth is a mouth of blessing. People around you, let them see God. People around you, let them bless God with your mouth because of the words. Your word is a blessing for this generation. God gave you this tongue to revive the world. God gave you. To bless your brother. God gave you this, this gave you this tongue for, for you to intercede. God gave you this tongue for you to pray for one another. This tongue is not to gossip. This tongue is not to report evil. This tongue is not for mockery. It's not for murmuring. It's not for complaint. It's not for slandering. It's not for gossiping. 
It's not for evil, evil, evil sex. You know, kissing. You kiss men that is not for me. For for it's not your husband. Your mouth is for the glory of God. Anything concerning you is for Jesus. I've given you the warning. I promise God that I'm going to tell all the virtuous men, you that is outside there, you are a virtuous man in Christ. You are giving your life to Jesus. Make sure that your tongue is down. Breathe on your tongue. Amen? Don't be swift to speak. Praise the Lord. Be slow. The way you speak, make sure that God is the one that has pushed you to speak. Amen? Listen, but don't be quick to speak. That the message that God gave me, and I promised him that I was going to share with you, my sister. God bless you. Shalom. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It is the lack of love that will push somebody to gossip about somebody. Yes. The state of your heart will push you to report your brother with evil. Of evil. Yes. You are, you are not happy of him. You are not happy of his success. And when he falls, you are happy. You will spend hours to speak about it. Evil reporters. Gossipers. This tongue, eh? This tongue will not send me to hell fire. I must discipline myself. The time we are living now, it is discipline, my sister. If you don't discipline yourself, the flesh will kill you. It is because of the lack of love we have covetousness. Talk, talking, 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 talking. Envy everywhere. Envy this. You envy your brother. You envy your sister. If we continue in this manner, I won't be surprised because what God showed to me, he said, in this place, only one person. In this place, only one person. If God can deliver only Lot and his wife or oh, 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 uh, family in the whole generation like this, Noah and his family in the whole generation, the same thing can happen to them. I don't want to stand before the judgment of God and, and be cast away. That is why now we must work, 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 work on ourselves. It is the time now you must love me. It is the time you must love that brother, that sister. Love him as you love yourself. The Bible says in John chapter 13, verse 34. The book of John. Chapter 13, verse 34. Oh God, help us. Help us. I read in Jesus' name. A new commandment. A new commandment. I give unto you. I give unto all the virtuous men. That you love one another as I love, I have loved you. That you also love one another. The way I have loved you. The, lo the way I love all the virtuous men. Love one another. You expect the grace from me. More anointing. More strength. Love your brother. Love your enemy. Just love. Because all about the kingdom of God is love. If truly you hate hellfire, it is time to breathe, breathe your tongue now. Make sure that it's only love that comes out from your tongue. If you hate hellfire, make sure the thought of your heart is only love. Speak only when God asks you to speak. Yes. Why are you not happy the way God is using your brother? Why are you jealous? The lack of love has pushed the people to be jealous. You are envious. Full of hatred. Instead to support him in prayer, you are beginning to fight him. You are praying for him to fall. Yes, you are fighting his ministry. Why? 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 And you know it is the Lord using her, that sister. You know it is the Lord using that brother but because of the lack of love in your heart. You have decided to persecute him. You have joined the persecutors. Continue to join. Nobody will stop you. Continue to join. The judgment of God is coming. The Bible says, with the same measure you that you met with us, it shall be measured to you again. 
You spend your time here telling people repent, repent, preach holiness, preach holiness, preach holiness. You don't practice it that day, they will take that. That day, they will not even open the Bible. They will just say, okay, put put them on the message. Put on the message you share on Facebook. The message you share on, on, on YouTube. Put it there. Okay, day number one. Uh 8 p.m. You, you give a message, you tell people that they should not be they, uh, fighting each other, they should not be hating. Now, why have you why are you fighting your brother? Uh, uh Lord, you see, uh, okay. Number two. Day number two, you preach in, in the book of John, chapter 13, 34. Now, why is he hated all over your body? We can see the stain of lack of love on your garment. Why? You begin to scratch your head. And everybody know you all over the world. You were a great minister. A great teacher. They call you woman of God. They call you a sister in Christ. Virtuous woman. I am a virtuous woman. Virtuous woman. I pray this name will not judge us. <laughs> the judgment of God. On that day, my sister, I don't pray you hear this word depart from me, workers of iniquity. Oh. Because that word only comes once. It doesn't come. They don't rewind again. They don't say, okay, it's a mistake. Let us rewind again. We, we made a mistake. Once you hear it, finish. Why are you fighting, fighting your brother? Is it not the same God? The same Bible? The same Jesus? The same holiness? Are you not? Oh, 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 the dirty in the church of today. When I was in the world, I never knew. I never knew what is waiting up. I never knew what is ahead of me. Huh? Demon with horns. Demon with horns in the church. Yeah, mommy, what that spirit? Which God spirit in the church? Yay, 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 yay. The worst thing is that they will carry the Bible and they will ask you to sit down there. Yeah. Do you know how a minister fight another minister? You don't know, let me tell you. They use the salmon. They will fight each other with salmon, sir. If you if you listen very well, you know that it's that brother they are fighting. They will fight each other in salmons, in messages, polluting the, the heart of the members with their selfish messages, selfish, selfish messages, full of pride, full of convertiousness, full of greediness. Stop in order to progress. Thank God it is not you that called that man. As far as the Lord that called him, God will support him. Do all your chakala, 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 chakala. All your preaching, all your message, all your message, summons. As far as the Lord that sent to Moses, he will go to Egypt. Uh huh. Yes. God said, I will be with you. Whether it rain, whether it snow. I will be with you. The only counsel I tell all oh, my sister, my brother that are fighting you, keep quiet. Keep quiet. You know God is the one that sent you. Don't even do anything. You know the spirit, it is the lack of love in the church of today. If someone refuses that it is God that sent you, it is God that is using you, it, you go and warn the pastor, the pastor say, who are you? Leave him to God. Leave him to God. You have done your part. Amen. As far as you are righteous. The Bible says in 1 Peter chapter 3. As far as you are righteous, my sister. 1 Peter chapter 3. As far as your heart is pure. You are obeying your father. And your motive is not hatred. Your motive is not envy. Your motive is not pride. Your motive is not conventiousness. Let that pastor send you away. The Bible says, 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 12. I read in Jesus' name, For the eyes of the Lord are over the righteous, and his ears are open unto, uh, are open unto their prayers. But the face of the Lord is against them that do evil. Let them continue to do evil. One day, one day, one day. Continue to do philosophy your preaching. What a dirty church. The lack of the love of God. Today you hear this brother has fallen. Instead to need for him, you begin to make parties on the phone, creating conferences, meeting to laugh at that brother, to laugh at that sister. Hey! The church is dirty! 
Dirty, 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 full of worms. Which come in the church. First Corinthians chapter 13. The book of First Corinthians. Chapter 13. The Lord, after revealing to me the church is dirty, he allowed me to pass through it. Before he allowed me to pass through it, he first told me, I saw the angel of God. He said, you will pass through fire. Fire will not burn you. Ah, that fire. Sometimes I said, Jesus, you said fire will not burn me. Hey? But the heat, I'm feeling the heat. It's too much. It's too much. Which come in the church? Demons in the church. Uh-huh. Hey. Hey. First Corinthians chapter 13 verse 1. Though I speak with the tongue of men and of angels, have not charity, I have become a sounding brass, a thinking symbol today in the church. Many pastors are sounding brass. Sounding brass. Your message, sounding brass. Tingling, 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 tingling. Tingling symbol. Uh -huh. What they don't see among the unbelievers, they see it among the believers. Some believers, so unbelievers have good manners, but you cannot see those little good manners in, in the hearts of the children, in the, in the, among the children of God. I, I come from a church. Don't make a mistake to greet somebody in that church. Uh, if they suspect you are greeting them too much, don't. If you, if you continue to greet them, they will call you a witch. If you continue to call them on the phone, they will call you witchcraft. Because they know, ah, since when this person is coming to show us love, we know that there's no love here. The way she's calling me like this, she's coming with witchcraft. You see? Upside down. The altar of God has been stoned down. Instead of the fire of God, it's a strange fire. This sister is, is, is fearing God. And they call her a witch. Because she's want to keep herself holy. I wonder. Preaching salmon for hours. We are tired. We are tired of that kind of salmon. Eh? If I cannot see my love in you, you preach, 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 preach. Sounding brass. It's a sounding brass on my ear. We are tired. Show me the fruit as a woman of God, as a man of God. Yes. Uh huh. Many are evangelists. Many evangelists are tinkling symbols. Many believers down on their way. Uh, believers on where to have fire. I am not afraid to tell you. I'm telling you the truth. Stop relying on your, your sermons. Relying on your programs. Relying on your vision. Relying on your prophecy. Relying on your activities. I will always tell you this. Do the work of God good. But focus on your heaven. Oh yes. I will never stop telling you this. Because the kingdom of God is about practice, not words. If it was words, all those great uh, 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 the people that do big, big, uh, you know, sermons, they will make heaven. Words is words. He stay here. But it's your practice, your character that will follow you after that. So the kingdom of God is about practice, not words. Show me your fruit. Then I will tell you if you are a true believer or not. Show me your fruit. Then I will tell you if you, you, you are a sanctified believer or not. Yes. Jesus is telling us today. In Matthew chapter 13, he said, A new commandment, com com commandment I give unto you. That you love one another as I love you. That you also love one another. A new commandment. A new commandment. How much love have you shown to that sister? How much, how deep is your love for that brother? How deep is your love for that pastor? For that widow? For that orphan? Somebody said, oh, wow, only you alone. This is your ministry. Boutique, you are there. Tabita, you are there. Ministry, you are there. Hey, only you alone. You can see the, the spirit in the heart of that person. It's children of God fighting children of God. It is not unbeliever. Put unbeliever aside. They are ignorant. They don't know. It's children of God. I heard in Nigeria a man of God was killed in his house. They, they, some, a, jealous, a jealous pastor sent the way to kill another pastor. 
I heard another one, they set up. This pastor heard this other pastor. He set up, they went to arrest that other pastor for witchcraft when the other pastor was innocent. Hey, the church of today, many things. On that day, on that day, as that I saw, they said, Jesus, take us with you. Jesus, take us with you. That what will happen. Maybe I, I, God forbid. Many people will be doing go to meeting, praying. That what will happen. Trouble will soon, they will not even know. With all this ungodly attitude, you expect to see Jesus? The Lord said, I should tell you, if you want to be with him, eh, truly, if you want to see him, eh, take off your tongue. Prayer groups have become prayer group of meeting of conference of gossip. To, today, if you finish prayer, 10 p.m., finish 10 p.m. Unless you have something to talk to them, to them, to them, uh, the leader of the group, call the leader alone. Let the leader tell you. This prayer after prayer, gossiping, gossiping, talker, 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 must stop. Finish. The virtuous woman will continue to gossip. She will be. They will take her away. If you want to say that we don't have love, if you are coming to destroy us, we better we cut off that hand. It's better I, I go to heaven with one hand. That must finish today. I'm telling you today we must bury it. That's why we are not taking no holy communion today. You, because this only communion, hey, repent, Father, in the name of Jesus, forgive me, forgive me, forgive me. After the next hour, prayer meeting, na -na 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 -na. toka, 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 toka. Why is this kind of spirit? Oh, my, 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 my um, I am the one, I am the lead, like this. With all the, the, the message we have been preaching here, the flesh, let the flesh die, let the flesh die. That's why I say God's presence is not my multitude. God's presence is not the crowd. God's presence in you, it is that power that breaks that pride in you. Let me see how you are broken. You, you, are break, you have been broken. Yes. Your lack of love. Your lack of love. That's why you, 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 you hate your brother. Mm -hmm. You hate your brother. Fighting each other. The sin of Cain upon you. You know what Cain killed Abel? He hate Abel now. The offering of Abel was better. He said to go and do his own. He said, why God will accept that offering and despise my own? You have presented your offering to God. I have presented mine. But because my offering is more pleasant to God, now you are fighting me. Be content of what you have. If you see that God does not like, try to do better. Why are you fighting me, your fellow sister? Why are you fighting me, your fellow brother? Hebrews chapter 13. The lack of love, of love in the church. That's why Jesus is saying my church is dirty. Hebrews chapter 13. Verse 5, if God can open our heart and put in the screen here, eh, eh, everybody will run. Eh, my sister, so this is what you have, you've been thinking of me. Me? They say, okay, show your own too. Eh, so you too, you too. Eh, holy, holy. So this is what you have been thinking of me. That's what God will be exposing one by one. Hebrew chapter 13, verse 5. Let your conversation be without covetousness. Be content with such things as you have. And he had said, I will never leave thee nor forsake you. God has given you your portion. He will be with you with that portion. He has given you your grace. His grace is sufficient for you. Be content with it. Don't be covetous. Oh, I want to be like Sister Claire. Everybody want to do like God. So, so, so. Everybody want to do like so, 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 so. That is what jealousy, jealousy. Somebody will tell, tell me that they go even in, in YouTube. Be checking how many viewers I have. Eh? So he has gone to that level. You'll be checking the viewers of this one. Checking the view of this one. Jealousy in the church. Lack of love in the church. Church is dirty. Holiness, 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 holiness full of with ungodliness. That holiness is a filthy rack. 
children used to say yak. That holiness is a yak holiness. I am telling you. It is time now you begin to check your life. I must be like this. I must be like this. I will move. Competition in the house of God. Where are we going? Is that heaven? Is that heaven? Ha! They, they get, I know. That get, they say there is an angel there. There is an angel have eyes everywhere. You must have a pure heart. Oh. Hey, if they see any stain of lack of love, depart. The church of God today, full of haters, people hating their brother, hating their sister. When God is brought, using this one, you are jealous. Using that one, you are jealous. You preach against it. You tell your member not to come, go near him. If anybody come near, to come to you to ask, say that one don't even go there. And you know the person is not guilty, but because of the lack of love. When God gave me this revelation, never knew where, where, where I came to know. I thought, oh, children of God, not knowing that I don't go put my own somewhere. Only the grace of God. When I got this revelation, God said I will pass through fire. I was saying to myself, which kind of fire? Me, I never knew the fire God was telling me. Ah, same fire. I'm saying same fire. Hey! I never knew this is his own. Eh? I never knew. I never knew. I know I'm not the right person to do what I'm doing today. I know I'm not the right person according to the, in the before the eyes of men. I know. I don't have the the quality. I know. But God has, has choose. He said, this is, I will use this thing. I will use it. Yes. This the, the thing I will use. There is nothing you can do. Just accept it. You better accept it. Yes. God use simple people. The Bible said, pride go before destruction. destruction. If it's still that is because you are like this, you are like this, God will use you. I am telling you, you are only deceiving yourself. God knew you were not qualified, my sister. He chose you. Don't allow anybody to put your spirit down. Hallelujah. Continue to do the work of God. Lack of love in the church. If it's not the grace of God, I won't be standing here. You will not be standing there. I know. I know what you are going through. They are fighting you because of the truth you are saying. They are, some people are playing against each other. Hey, the lack of love. The lack of love has put so many people to commit murder. In the church. Killing each other because of position. I am the one. Look, I have done this. I work on this for many years. I don't, 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 don't. Now somebody say, come on like this. Come and take my place. Hey, hey. This should not be among the children of God. It should not be among the children of God. I never knew it's in the church that will find my worst enemy. Beware today. Get ready. Get ready. This thing must come out from you. If we want the church to get to be clean, we must be, we must give ourselves first. Allow God to change us so that when they will see the light of the, the light of God in us, they will begin to rejoice. So this message from today on. Humble yourself. Allow the Holy Spirit to break you. Then you'll be able to love your brother. Even if your brother speaks speak at you, you will love him. You will love him. Do you want to be a successful minister of God? You must learn how to maintain yourself as a vessel of honor. First Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 4. First Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 4. He said that everyone, I, I, I start from verse 3, for this is the will of God, even your sanctification, that you should abstain from fornication. Verse 4, that every one of you should know how to possess his vessel in sanctification and in honor. If you want to be a successful, virtuous woman in Christ, 
you must learn how to maintain yourself as a vessel of honor. To be a vessel of honor, you must pass through the purity of God. God will break you. He will mold you. He must make sure you are humble. You humble yourself and you show you know how to love others. To love your enemy, you need to be broken. You need to be humble. Because when your enemy will begin to, to raise, reign word, eh, it takes the brokenness of God to take this word and to pray for that person. This is part one. We are coming back. We are going to develop many, many titles. Where is the church dating? By the time we finish this year, we are not going to go back again in this filthiness. Because the Bible said that we must cleanse ourselves from all filthiness of the flesh, filthiness of the spirit, perfecting the holiness in the fear of God. That is a commandment of God. You must let God gossip. Let God of every hatred from your heart. Every lack of love. In the name of Jesus. Be a member of the church of Christ. The holy church. Hallelujah. Let God fill your, your heart with love. Begin to love your neighbor. As you love yourself. Amen. Begin to love your, your neighbor. As you love yourself. When I was in Holland. I was not the born again. But I was a church goer. I go to church just like that. You know people. The way they were doing it. It does not really bother me. Because what I was doing. They are doing it. They speak the same language like me. So I was just going there like that. I go to church because I know that I, I just came to Europe that time. So in case I need help, maybe they, they might help me. So when I have nothing to do, I will just go and clean the church, clean the kitchen. Yes, for the pastor to see me. I knew that pastor was not happy because every Sunday, he will begin to push people, for people to fall. So me and my mom, I will not fall again. I will not fall again. I'm tired. Uh -uh. Every day they will push you forward. They push you forward. Push you forward. People fall. They come back the same time. Eh? See, they have been falling, my sister. The same thing. The same, uh, they told me, you are going to have paper in six months. Six months pass. One year, nothing. Every day push you. So I said, I'm tired of pushing me. This man will push me. I'll stand. He will push. I'll start. He will push. I'll start. I said, lie, lie. I'm not falling any falling. Uh -uh. What is that? I'm tired. Eh? I have one of my boyfriend there. I was coming because he was going there too. So... I was just there for that. But one thing happened. When my mother died, I was so broken. You know, like, uh, I mean, financially, I didn't have anything. My mom died. I just, as soon as I came to Europe, my mom died. So what happened is, I called one of the greater musicians in Cameroon. He's in Paris. He knows me. I called him. I said, sir, my mom just died. So he traveled from Paris to Holland to come and give me some money. But the money was not, it was, yes. But I was still expecting that pastor to give me. Because the money was not complete. I went to see the pastor. The pastor said, come so, 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 day. Hey! I was saying that, truly, if unbeliever can, can give me this kind of amount, pastor will at least, at least give me something. Because this pastor, when he will preach, I went to Canada, I went to America, the power of God. So I was expecting him to give me something. When I went in the office, I sat down. All I was hearing stories. He said, Are you clear? I said, You never pay your tithe. Eh? Church is not a hospital. It's not our financial. I said, What? Yes? You don't pay your tithe. Where do I get money now? I don't have money. I'm still in the hostel. And we don't pay tithe. We don't give money here. Just like that. Then I said, What am I doing with this kind of foolish church? After all, they don't preach anything. What I'm saying, they say it. What I do, I do. Every time I'm pushing people to fall. Now I'm tired. I left that church. Lack of love. Somebody is coming to find Jesus. You are pushing him away. That is the attitude in the church of today. We focus on material money. The pastor will love you because you are the one paying the biggest amount of tithe in the church. The day you call him pastor, I've been deported on the deport me. I'm in Africa, please. I just need ticket for money. Eh? He said, what? I saw if something happened. There's a sister in this church. The sister came to me crying. She says, Sister Claire, truly, I believe in Jesus. Eh? But what I see in this church, my husband was supposed to come. He had visa. 
The ticket was, I just need 200, I think 200, 200 euro. I went to see pastor, they refused to give me. And the pastor, my, the visa was remained some, some days. That is how my husband had lost. My husband could not come again. Mr. Claire, is this Christ? I said, hey! They died in the church! Lack of love! They only love those that are, that are rich. They only love those, those that are more privileged in the society. The lack of love. Children hate, children kissing, hating each other. And they will back it with the scripture. If you are poor, don't try to come and say, please uh, pray for me. They will say it's the power of your father's house. The power of your mother's house. They will say it is a curse. Poverty is a curse. Since when? If poverty was a curse, if it was a sin, Lazarus, the poor Lazarus will not be in heaven today. Some people, you see the finger? This one is shorter than this one. This one is longer. That is how some people are like that. They are born to be like that. It was the glory of God. So if you see somebody that is poor in front of you, you need to help him. The Lord allow him to come near you so that you can help him. You can help him. That's why we have Tapita. The little money we have, we are going to put our money there. So that the poor people will come and get it. Not even poor, the people that need. There's no poor in the name of Jesus. Anybody that need him, come and say, Mommy, I need. We study your case. If your case is urgent, say, Go and take money. Go and take it. Uh -huh. Greediness in the church. Jealousy. Envy. Pride. You see somebody supporting after when you see that you are selling it, it begin to fight you. That one must stop among the virtuous women. I know we don't have that spirit, but I have to prevent. Hallelujah. First Corinthians chapter 13, verse 4 to 13. I read in the name of Jesus. First Corinthians chapter 13, verse 4 to 13. Mm -hmm. I, no, I start with verse, verse 1. Though I speak with the tongues of men and of angels, and have not charity, I am become a sounding blast or a tinkling cymbal. Though I have the gift of prophecy and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and though I have all faith so that I could remove mountains and have no charity, I am nothing. And though I bestow all my goods to feed the poor, though I give my body to be burned, and have not charity, it profited me nothing. Charity suffer long, and is kind. Charity envy not. Charity vows not itself, is not perfect. Don't do, do, do not behave itself unseemly. Seeketh not her own, is not easily provoked. Thinketh think no evil, rejoice not. In iniquity, but rejoice in the truth. Beareth all things, believeth of all things, hope all things, endureth all things. Charity never fail, but whether there be prophecy, they shall fail. Whether there be tongues, they shall cease. Whether there be knowledge, it shall vanish away. But we know in part, and we prophesy in part. I go to verse 13. And now abide faith, hope, charity. These three, but the greatest of these is charity. Hey. Put aside your sermon. Put, put, put them aside. All your activities, all your prophecy, your gift. If you have no charity, you are nothing. Zero, zero, zero slash zero. I am telling you to the truth today. Today, by the grace of God, this is the message I want to tell you. You are going to pray. And before we pray, I want to tell you this week, there's two things I want to let you know. Number one, breathe out your tongue. You breathe out your tongue. And number two, yeah, very well. If a sister come and tell you 
sister, look, oh. By the time you say look, you have very put your ear very well, begin to look, oh. Do you hear what sister Santa did to me? She said, eh, sorry, before you continue. Have you spoken with sister Santa? Uh-uh, you have not even letting me tell you the story. No, I want to know. That issue, have you spoken with Sister Fanta? Yes, that's what I'm coming to tell you. No, now, go and report it to Mommy Claire. If you want me to hear this, let, let me be there. Mommy Claire be there. Hallelujah. I'll be there. Mommy Claire is there. Then I will hear. Because now, the way Satan has managed to enter the church, I don't want this virus to catch me. You are my sister, but I don't want this virus. You heard the warning from God to all the virtuous women? That we must we must brittle our tongue. Now, that brother, do not solve any problem where you know that you are not involved. I'm saying, do not solve any problem where you know that you are not involved. Two sisters have issues. If you are the leader, contact me. If you know that the matter, you cannot solve the money, contact me. But if you remember the comment, say sister, you heard these two people say, ah, I'm not the one. I'm not I'm a, I'm a mom. I'm not a mom. So call the leader now. Call our leader. Or the, the leader will contact mommy Claire. Thank you, ma. God bless you. Don't vex, ma. You do this one time, two times, three times, the person will never come and gossip to you again. Try it from today. Gossip is finished among us. Talk at TV net, talk at TV net, those prayer group. From today, if you spend your prayer group to talk from, with people, the Lord will expose you. You talk from the people, you call the name of this sister, sister this brother, God will expose you. God is giving you another chance today. Amend your way. Repent. We are going to spend this with repentance. No communion today. We are coming back to take the Holy Communion. Hallelujah. So today, rise up and begin to pray. Rise up and begin to pray. Hallelujah. Begin to say, oh Jesus, take away the lack of love from my heart. Amen. Take away the lack of love from my heart. Take away envy from me. Take away jealousy from me. Take away every evil from my life. In the name of Jesus. May the Lord bless you with this message. I hope that this message will fall into a fatal ground. You will never become the remain the same again. By your fruit, we shall know you are a sanctified believer. May the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. I call upon Sister Grace to take over. God bless you. Thank you, Jesus.